Lisa with thinkinginspirations.com. Thanks for joining me today. In this tip, I wanted to answer a question that I received recently, and it was how to create the fillers for my little treat or boxes uh, to fill those and make a decorative um, top to them. So here's a little Halloween project that I've recorded recently and I used these black strips of cardstock to put inside like that to just make it fun on top. So in case you are just starting in paper, paper crafting or you're just curious about how I do that, I wanted to show you it's really easy. First of all, I get a piece of cardstock and I like to leave it the full 11 inches in length. And then I get my paper trimmer and I'm going to slide this. Here's the cutting track right here in the center. And so I'm going to slide that just past it, just a little bit, not going beyond the gray. And whatever type of paper trimmer you have, you would do that. You would slide it a little past the cutting track and just slice it, okay? And you get some thin strips. Sometimes I cut them thinner than others and or thicker than others, and it really doesn't matter. It's just a filler, and you're going to not leave them in this straight format anyway. So I'm just going to cut several. Depending on the size of your container, that is what determines how much paper you need to cut. All right, so say for this little Frankenstein, this is just a bag rather than a box. I just needed about two inches, two and a half inches of cardstock by 11. And for this one, I'm going to cut a little bit more. This is just a scrap piece. And uh, you can see that I've punched circles out of the bottom there. So I'm just gonna keep cutting. And I'll show you in just a minute how I wad that up to make the filler. Okay, you can see the widths are varying. Some are thinner than others. That really doesn't matter. They do, um, um, it's easier to make, get the look you're wanting if they're thinner rather than thicker, okay? All right, so I definitely don't measure any of it. Okay, so then I take these and I just wad them up, just like this. Okay, and this would be like go in the top of a box. You see how it's fuller there? And so I could definitely put this many in the top of this bag, okay? But I don't need to. Uh, just determine how much you need by the size of your container. Okay, I hope that helps you. If you have any questions, let me know. Visit my website at inkandinspirations.com, and I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.